This is Kreskin, and you know me as the amazing Kreskin. And I'm about to share with you what's on my mind, and evidently on the minds of thousands and thousands of people who've seen the news story that evidently broke just a few hours ago. Turns out, and listen to this, a man named Kawi Leonard claims to be a time traveler from the year 2027. That's right, he came from the year 2027. It's nice that he stopped here. I don't know if he was going back maybe to see some old silent movies. So he's going to go into the 20s and 30s or what have you. But evidently, it's, uh, we, we should be flattered that he decided to uh, stop off here. He appeared on the platform known as TikTok to sell the world his predictions for the remainder of 2022. Are you ready? <clears throat> now, I have questions about predictions. I've made some in my life, but uh, this is uh, rather dramatic. And if there's a chance, please listen to me, if there's a chance that you can have a drink of uh, some a strong liquor that you're used to drinking, have a shot of that first. It may glamorize this more in your system because his first prediction is on July 14th, 2022, America will have the world's largest earthquake, which we know as the Great Split. Interesting, very creative and so forth. And the next prediction is that on August 9th, that's right, August 9th, two million people will mysteriously disappear for no reason. I uh, have a couple of questions I'd be curious to ask, but the most important thing of all, and if anyone wants to arrange this, any newsman or what have you, it would be rather interesting to meet this Kawi Leonard and just spend a short amount of time with him. I don't mean uh, certainly not more than 10-15 minutes, but I would think we could wrap this up in maybe four or five minutes. I'd like to see what makes him tick. I'd like to attempt to read his thoughts, especially the life he's had uh, on the uh, time travel period in the year 2027. This is a very intriguing situation. See, to be honest with you, I never heard much about these things before. But years ago, when I was working with a clinical psychologist and would see various patients, we met many, many patients who lived 20 years earlier or later, or, or 50 years came back to the present because they were hallucinating there. Now, I'm not suggesting that this person is hallucinating anything. God forbid that he makes sense. Yes, he makes sense if two or three pennies are worth it to you. The, the uh, two million people who are going to mysteriously disappear, that's of great concern. But my feeling is don't leave your town that you live in because uh, how are you going to return if everybody else has disappeared? I'm being sarcastic, but... Uh, his final prediction, and hear this, you've got to hear this. It's on October 3rd, the new animal creatures known as stalkers will be roaming the world. It'll be the most dangerous animal of all time and will be a combination of a lion, a tiger, and a bear. Now that's pretty, pretty dramatic, folks. The trouble that they want to to put together a lion, tiger, and a bear all combined. This has got to be one of the best showstoppers I've ever seen. And I'm, I'm beginning to think that there is hope because when Barnum and Bailey Circus left the position of publicizing themselves all over the world, I was hoping that there would be some kind of replacement. This could be a replacement and it could be a very dramatic one. The, uh, this story, by the way, has been going all uh, viral. All, all over the internet, <clears throat> news platforms are talking about it, too. You know what they're comparing this with? 
to The Simpsons, Thanos from Marvel, and, you guessed it, The Amazing Kreskin. These are some afterthoughts I've had after examining the three-part prediction and what have you. And uh, you might make a note of these. Uh, I would not hold them for too long because if the world is coming to an end or we're going to have a major earthquake or what have you, I, I'd like to, you can understand, share it with those I love a great deal, and we can go out and, and see it and maybe photograph it and uh, sell it as a new prediction for another century. The, uh, I think what's going to happen, I'll make a prediction about this gentleman, unless I get to meet uh, uh, Leonard, this is my feeling. In about two and a half months after the prediction time of uh, the uh, July 14th, the word the word America's going to have the world's largest earthquake. If that doesn't succeed, then he may do something which many people in public life that fail uh, will also follow up and do. After all, he's made a couple of dramatic statements, and can you imagine? how more dramatic they will be if none of them take place. Therefore, I want to extend my sympathies to him. I think he has a great, great sense of humor. I would like to find out more about the life that he's gone through in the year 2027, but not, not right now, not right now. Let's just say that uh, before 2027, Leonard will become successfully, and I predict very successfully, unknown. Good job. Does that sound sarcastic?